hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we will be doing another ANSYS analysis on uh, static loading with the plate uh, that have a central hole but this time we are using a brittle material now the last tutorial I used uh, ductile material and the results were uh, calculated but this time we'll be using the same problem but uh, we'll just change the material to brittle material all right and then we will see how the changes are affected in the safety factor as well as the total deformation and equivalent stress all right so let's see how we can do this quickly i'll close everything i'll delete this okay so let's start with the static structure we can call it static loading static loading brittle materials okay now the first thing that I want to do is I want to introduce my own material so I will go to engineering data if you haven't watched the tutorial on how to create and add material in ANSYS make sure you watch it uh, I'll keep the link over here in the I section All right so let's go for create here click here to add new material I'll say let's call it gray cast iron because everyone do that All right once you do that click and then we are going to add the properties to our gray cast iron so the first property that I want is uh, isotropic elasticity so under linear elastic I'll double click isotropic elasticity and it will give you the properties and we have to add some values the first thing that I want to add is Young's modulus so I'll change my unit to MPA and add in the values as 103 E3 press enter go for poison ratio add 0 0.28 now we have to add few more properties so I'll just click somewhere over here and this time we will add a uh, compass strength and add tensile ultimate strength compressive ultimate strength tensile yield strength and compressive yield strength all right we'll make sure that all the units for strength are MPA so just change it to MPA okay then we'll add in the values now we have already calculated the yield strength in the previous tutorial which was coming at around 152 and uh, for the compressive let's go for 572 uh, same thing for tensile ultimate 152 and 572 Alright, once we have added our material properties, we can go for project and that basically adds the material. Now we'll go for geometry. So double click on the geometry to open the design modeler where we will uh, basically sketch the plate. So once we are in the design modeler, the first thing that we have to do is go to units, go for millimeter, select XY plane, right click, look at, switch to sketching select rectangle from the center draw rectangle go for dimension general length and width this will be 1000 and this one is I think this one is 500 okay, let's make it 400 only I can come in the graphics area right click and go for zoom to fit then Go to draw again select a circle draw a circle go for dimension general dimension from the center to this edge from the center to this edge put in your values so 200 for diameter 200 for this one and 500 for this one once we have uh, done our sketch, we'll go for extrude. We'll select the geometry, apply, sketch one, and in the depth, I'll keep it only 10 mm and generate it. So we have our plate. I can basically hide my display plane so all the values and all the axes will go. And from here, we can close the design modeler and we are back in the workbench so we'll just double click the model it will again open your uh, mechanical window 
and in the mechanical window we'll put some pressure and then evaluate our results all right Let okay so we have our model the plate with circular hole so first thing that we can do is in the home tab itself go to units and make sure your units are in metric mm kg newton all right after that expand your geometry select your solid and in the details of solid go for material assignment as gray cast iron okay after that we can come to static structural right click insert pressure select the face selection and select this face as well as this face okay we don't want that this face so make sure your all the side faces both the side faces are selected apply in the values i want it to be 30 mpa and obviously it's a tensile force so it should be minus all right so from here we can come to solution right click insert deformation total solution insert stress equivalent solution insert uh, stress tool now earlier tutorial we used the maximum equivalent stress tool for calculating the safety factor but uh, for better materials um, we will uh, be using the more coulomb stress because the more coulomb stress method uh, it, it takes the uh, difference between tensile ultimate strength and compressive ultimate strength which is basically common in the brittle materials so make sure you use the more coulomb method right and from here we can go for solve and wait for a few seconds for our result okay so in case if you are getting some error so what we can do is come to analysis setting select uh, in the details of analysis setting come to solver control solver pivot checking make sure it is off and then go for solve again and yeah we have the results so if we take the total deformation it's 0.6 mm equivalent stress is 115.13 mpa and the safety factor the main thing that we were focused in this tutorial so you can see there is a significant change in the safety factor in case of brittle material earlier it was uh, approximately two if i am not wrong i think yeah it was 2.2 but in case of brittle material the safety factor is much reduced and we have a safety factor of 1.29 all right so make sure when you are uh, dealing with brittle materials you, you make sure you are using the more coulomb method because uh, as you know it takes the difference between the ultimate tensile ultimate strength and compressive ultimate strength to uh, make your account right so that's it for this tour i hope you guys uh, like it and if in case you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this thank you guys peace out